Welcome to Talk Flicks with Boss Chicks. I'm your host, Crystal, and today we are going to be talking about this fatal affair movie that everybody is talking about. This is a big lifestyle change. You think it was a mistake leaving the city? No. Morning. Early. David, hi. It's been a long time, huh? 20 years. We should catch up. Everything he's done has all been to get to me. So today we have a couple of guests with us. We have Miss Marcia Jennings and we have Miss Carlisha Jennings. Carlisha is a writer and filmmaker. Let's get into this. It's so much. It's so much. Like um first of all First of all, this acting, we, we just got to go ahead and address the elephant in the room because it's, it's so much, but I think the acting is the real culprit behind why this movie was so bad. So, um, Marcia, what did you think about this? Nia Long and actually everybody in this movie for me was just like terrible. Listen, I it felt like my bills are coming due and let me go ahead and just like grab a role that's available because corona is fitting to hit harder so let me just cut that check real quick that that was the acting i'm here because i need to pay bills it felt like a customer like the call center you know you work that job not because you want to but because you got kids at home yeah my thoughts are pretty much the same like it's like they weren't even trying, like some scenes. <laughs> they were not even trying. It was so bad. That's what happened. <laughs> like, what you gonna do, buddy? <laughs> I was like, dang, you're not even gonna try to convince him? Like, come on. <laughs> it was lackluster. I think the word that we're all look searching for is lackluster performance. <sighs> yeah. I, the word I think I put down was... Um, was just like indifference because <laughs> it was like well um yeah this dude could kill my family or yeah you know he could knock out my friend buster in the head oh maybe i will call. like it was just like so bland like i just could not believe it i literally literally was like let me go back and kind of maybe check and see if these people were even good actors ever because i've had that happen where i was like yeah I really love this person. He's such a good actor. And then when somebody calls me on it and then I go back, I'm like, oh, actually they were not a good actor. So, oh. Yeah, I was real disappointed in Nia and Omar. I mean, I'm just looking like at old movies like Dustin and he was in Love and Basketball, like they get great performances, so I was expecting more from them. Um, so yeah, this definitely just seems like a job they took for the money. <laughs> so they could have done way better if they put in more effort, I think. I was confused. Maybe y'all can help me. Why was this called Fatal Affair? Because clearly there was no affair here. This was like a fatal whip it out in the bathroom. <laughs> like nothing happened. So why was this even called an affair? Like what is this okay. title? Listen, first of all, I'm just, I'm going to admit it. Um, I thought this movie was called Fatal Attraction. Like that white movie. <laughs> yes, I did too, yes. Um, I, I felt that up until five seconds ago. When I looked back, <laughs> I saw it was called Fatal Affair. Yeah, I was like, wait, this is Fatal, this isn't Fatal Attraction. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so I've been calling this movie. Because <laughs> it feels more called- like attraction. Then, uh, like you said, it's not an affair. It's an attraction. It's an entanglement. That's what I think. It's a fatal entanglement. Thank you. Yes, that's exactly what this was. That's not true. Because it wasn't even really entangled. You're right. It was more like a fatal whip it out. It was attraction. It was attraction. Well, she called it a situation. Isn't that what she said? When her husband asked her, he was like, you're not going to tell me about what happened. And she was like, well, it was a situation. That was literally the only thing holding this together. Was I guess you- maybe they thought they could call it fatal attraction, and then when they realized that was taken, they just went to the next, I guess. Well, I, I thought they were doing a, a, a black that. version of fatal attraction, so. I guess it was more of an attraction. He was attracted to her. It wasn't an affair. They didn't have an affair. 
They did it not. Been a that backstory needed to be way more elaborated on. Like these, like every, and I hate, I hate when movies do this. Like they do everything through dialogue. It's like, no, bro, this is a film. Like you don't have to show me some stuff. And it was just like, oh, she's going to talk to this lady and then she'll tell her this. And oh, you know, she's having problems in her marriage, so she'll say this. Like, show me what you show are us. talking about. Yeah. Like, that Y'all. Should been, that should have oh. been set up at the beginning. Like, like, they briefly mentioned that he had, that her husband had an accident. I wanted to know more about it. Like, they just kept giving exactly. us this. Season. Yo, what <laughs> accident did he have? You because still don't know? No, because when he was about to tell dude what the accident was, they cut. They cut to a different scene. What was the accident? Why he taking these pills? Why he got this slash on his chest? <laughs> he got hit by a truck. That's what she. That's what she said. My brain didn't even register what he said. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty boring. <laughs> I would fall asleep. Honestly. I paused the movie. Had to <laughs> I remember that. I remember that because when he said it, I was like, "Was it homeboy that hit him?" Because you know he was attracted to her forever. They, was he the one that hit him off the bike? They didn't. They never. Bruh, that would have been a good twist. Like this movie, and we kind of talked about this uh, before. It was so cookie cutter. It was horrible. Like all of these movies that people had put in the memes, like you know, um, No Good Deed and uh, Intruder and. Uh, when the bow breaks, like these are all kind of like the same movie, but they all kind of add their own little, you know, twist to it. But this one just like it never had anything other than the cookie cut, and it was so. But and on top of bland acting, like it was just horrible. But let's talk about that bike accident because I had a question about that. <laughs> first of all, first of all, are you telling me this accident? basically ruined their marriage and why all of a sudden it just came back to life like yeah we good now like i had this little whip it out moment in the bathroom and now we on the same you know what i'm because saying page now like what it scared this? her and you know what it reminded me of when they said it when all of a sudden everything was good it reminded me of why did i get married the second <laughs> one <laughs> the person cried was like fix it fix it that's why you thought it was a tyler perry film that's right. It had all the elements. It had all the elements. Uh, plus that perfect Patty wig she had on. You couldn't tell me she didn't grab that from uh, Janet Jackson. That was Janet Jackson's <laughs> Okay. So as soon as everything was okay, I was like, oh, they just did the perfect Patty treatment. Boom. What did they do to fix it, though? Like, it just was like all of a sudden a light bulb just went off. Like, we didn't see any type of progression towards stuff getting better. Like, it was just... So she got scared. What what happened was I almost cheated. Let me just love him real quick. <laughs> and I mean, she was all in her new practice trying to have sex on the desk with the door open. Like, come on, bro. Like this unprofessional. This is why people don't patronize black business, right there. Hold up, hold up. I wasn't. Who, my, why are you, you just open the business? Hold you about to get your freak on right with the door yes. open? Clients coming in. Stop. What clients coming in? I don't. I don't remember seeing. I didn't, actually, I didn't see any clients. I was wondering the whole time where her clients were. That like, man came like, in. Remember the, the 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 secretary Estelle. Oh yeah. She came in. I was like, hey, you're. Who was he? The all oh, the um the notary person or something. Yeah. I'm just still laughing because I really thought it was gonna fail the attraction. <laughs> you said you just figured it out, huh? So, so many bad things about this movie. What what were some of the good things that you guys actually liked? Kalisha, what about you? Mm. <laughs> this is a hard one for you? Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> she like, uh, nothing? <laughs> Let's give her some time. Marcia, is there anything? Yes. I I like how they are trying to run up into Tyler Perry's game um, of making bad, entertaining movies. I feel like Tyler Perry has that mark of corner. It is slightly disrespectful because they think they can do it better than Tyler. But that's what I like. I like that this was an all-around bad movie, but I'm still laughing. I thought the the camera work was fairly... I'm going to have to go to the technical <laughs> thing because I'm going to tell you what. Yeah. There wasn't really much else. It looked fairly decent, um, even though I think that, you know... 
this is what I think happened. And I actually wrote, wrote it down. And I'm going to actually just say what I think happened. So this is, this is what I think. That house was nice. Okay. So they did not want to do the movie, obviously, because it was <laughs> super duper dry. That little whip it out scene was probably a hell of a struggle to even get that to even come off on camera to look even decent. And I feel like a lot of this too, because I was like, damn, like, are these people not even good actors? Like, Maybe they never were. But I have seen movies with good actors before, and the directing was really bad, and it made good actors look really bad. So I think I need to go look, see who this director was. But um, I think the director was just like, wow, like, we got Omar and Nia, like, let's just let them direct themselves. Like, they know what they're doing. And then... <laughs> They used whoever's house. Maybe that was Nia's house. Somebody's house that actually is part of the crew. It was a nice And house. they used that same house for Omar's uh, alleged wife that was killed and for Nia Long's character, Ellie, which, first of all, what black woman we know named Ellie? I've never seen it in my life. I've never, ever seen a black woman named Ellie. It's just not... Hey, maybe L, like short for Elvira or something. I don't know. But that name had me like, this script wasn't even meant for them. Like this was literally, Lifetime had this script and was like, oh, it's Black Lives Matter's time. Like, let's just do an all black cast. And then they just like found some black people who were desperate for a role. The therapist was good. <laughs> I was like, okay, black therapist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this mental health thing. I'm glad you brought that up. So he was diagnosed with this, what is it called? Narcissistic personality disorder. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I went and looked this up because I'm like, they probably didn't even portray this the right way. Okay. Narcissistic personality disorder. So here are some of the symptoms here. They have an exaggerated sense of importance, uh, a sense of entitlement, um, and require constant and excessive admiration. They recognize themselves to be superior, exaggerate achievements and talent. Basically, it's Donald Trump, okay? So, to <laughs> me, I was not getting the Donald Trump vibe from Omar Epps' character. So, I'm like, maybe he's actually just misdiagnosed as just being... A stalker like I just feel like this is just straight up stalker like this is not this particular disorder what did y'all think yeah, I, agree. I agree I thought she was gonna say maybe he was like schizophrenic or something I don't I don't know like I guess maybe it's because he, I don't know I, I yeah maybe it's because the way he obsessed over people and he felt like he was special <laughs> he didn't deserve to be cheated on or i don't know like i'm still trying to make the connection there. it still don't make any sense because he was kind of like putting all the adoration on the other people someone who's narcissistic is all about themselves and to me i wasn't getting that like if that was the case he would have been buying that girl his the the um the uh Nia Long's character's friend, all those gifts and all this stuff. Like, I feel like that wouldn't even been what happened. But I, I okay. So first of all, I think it's important to remember that it's not people that he was obsessed with. He was obsessed with this one particular woman. Right, but that's not that the was, personality right. disorder. Oh no, no, I agree. I agree. The diagnosis was trash, trash, <laughs> straight trash. I'm just saying that he was li like it was her. Because even his wife looked like her. Which is basically just her. He was like settling for a lesser version of her. And then her fake best friend or her her best friend. Um it's just another it was just another connection to her. What was the diagnosis that uh the dude had in that show you? Did he have an actual diagnosis? He never really said. Like did he ever see a therapist? I don't think he No therapist. comfort Joe. Joey. I'm just asking because to me, 
maybe I feel like whatever his was is more aligned with what it know. was not the same. It was not the same because Joe was trying to you Joe, Joe was trying look, to grow her. Okay, look, he was trying to grow her too. He was saying no, he wasn't. Was he he was bringing her down. Joe was like, I'm gonna kill these people because they're trying to rat on you. They're trying to take you down. This man ain't good for you. I he mean, was, he was trying to act like the husband wasn't good enough for for Mia Long's character, Ellie, this fake black woman. Can we talk about um this whole backstory about him obsessing over her? Um, how I just feel like <sighs> We needed to see something. Maybe instead of showing, um, I guess, his, his former wife and that white dude getting it on, maybe showing something that hints to him being obsessing over Ellie, like, back then. Like, I just feel like everything was just kind of, like, just forced almost, like, kind of set the stage for some things. Like, it was just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they should have shown. They maybe they should have gone back a little bit and like done some flashbacks, or even though like started in the past and show like our relationship in the past because I still don't know like if they were close. Like were they best friends? Were they good friends? Were they just acquaintances? It, it kind of came off was like she never really even noticed him like that. Like, she had no idea that he even liked her. It's kind of like when she was talking to whoever that white lady was that was, I don't even know. Like, it was just, how did she even find this white lady who was telling her these things? Like, who is this person? Yeah, um, yeah I think she said she was a professor or something. Um, so I don't know. Like, if she knew him, why was she asking this professor about him? Like, don't you know me? <laughs> If he was your friend, why did he say that? Let's talk about how that white woman was a snitch. How he find out that she spoke <laughs> to that white woman in person? <laughs> I heard you asking about me. Excuse me, before we even get to the camera system, because I put this as a question. Who's front desk just letting random booty calls in to their apartment giving them keys? Like, Y'all don't pay me enough. Me? That's, what, that's, that's what that woman said. They don't pay me enough. <laughs> Guess what? I finna quit this job today anyway. She had that kind of energy going on. <laughs> Excuse me. First of all, no, that's not what happens. Number two, if this movie had any type of uh, consultation, I was thinking this was going to end up coming back to bite her in the butt to kind of prove that she was having an affair with him. Like I was really hoping that somehow that would loop back around. She's like, no, we didn't do anything. And then, oh, the husband found out that you was going to his house. And then he was like, oh, I was a booty call. And I needed this key. Like, I was really hoping somebody was thinking about good writing at least a little bit in this. And it was not. It was just not happening. So This girl said, do you remember me from last night when <laughs> I was here and then I left this morning? <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Girl, all black women look alike, apparently. That stuff was so unrealistic. I was like, y'all are killing me. Like, the acting is bad. And then with these little plot hole type things, was it was just killing me. Like, this movie literally was killing me last night. I was laughing, but I was just like, yo, like, what's going on? Like, I was expecting him to, I don't know, like, is that you do use of sound effects or not? It just didn't seem like it. Like, pointless jump scares, nothing was happening. <laughs> why didn't she just tell her husband when, they, uh, when he came to her house posing as her best friend's boyfriend why didn't she just come out and say like yo like yeah we know each other whatever like why was this like you have to keep this a secret like what is this stuff uh, let's, let's backtrack to the many moments she had to tell her husband first of all why she ain't blocked David when he first called that was a perfect time to roll over and be like, listen, this man think we something. We not. Because he was like, hey, I didn't know you were home. She over here on the phone. Huh? Perfect time to be like, listen. <laughs> Why didn't she tell? But even before that, when he called her and they were in that, that place, that restaurant, mm -hmm. she could have been like, homegirl ain't show up. 
I'm here with this other dude who, well, I'm catching up with an old friend. Da 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 da. His name is da 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 da. Why she say that? It's the- so easy. Like the truth is so easy, and it didn't even have to be something to be taken out of context. It really didn't have to go. That's why I was confused why he wasn't hotter when she finally was like, "Listen, so he think we had something, but we didn't really have no. We necked a little bit, and he was just like, "What?" Sir, this woman has been lying to you for a good amount of time. I'm going to need you not to, you know, of course, no violence, but you got to raise some voice. I need to hear some decibels, like. Yeah, that that was missing throughout the film. Like, even with her, like, her reactions to him, the stuff he said, like, they weren't strong enough. I'm like, are they black? Girl, listen, when, she, when her friend got knocked in the head and she was calling for help, she's literally like, somebody help me. That's exactly how her tone was. They had the ADR that joint to even make it sound like she even cared. And I was like, what is wrong with, like, what happened? Can somebody ask her why she was like this? You know what it was? It felt like they were filming illegally and they got to be quiet. (laughs) Yes, that is exactly what it felt like. Yes, that is exactly what it was. They were not supposed to be in there doing stuff like this and they didn't want to cause no attention to what they were doing. That's exactly what it was. Yes. But also, she wanted to let her friend die. I support it because French then left her for that man. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so let's talk about this friend now. Why do these women always take the man's side like that? Like I'm like, this is your best team, allegedly. Like, why are you believing this man you just started dating over your bestie? Because she said the drought is real, okay, and the peen is good. And that's what had happened. <laughs> she was like, I can't. I can't take a bullet for you, sis. Are you going to be there at night to hold me? You going to be with your husband. When her friend was like, look at these messages. Why she ain't pull her phone? Girl, these messages are from me. I was so confused. Like, they're just not on your phone. You didn't block him. For the longest time. So we know the message is still there. Girl. But right. Back to him him sitting in that house eating. Listen here. That's why I need that man to get bucked. I ate with this man. He ate at my table. I went golfing with homeboy. Homeboy wanted to kill me when I was golfing. Ma'am. Ma'am. We need to talk about this weak black man in these movies. Because this is something that burns me up. Like, literally, when I see movies like this, I'll be like, yo, like... I can't deal with this because you can't be a weak black man in this world. Like, you won't make it. And that husband was weak. Like, he did not have that fire. Like, I need to protect my family. When he he get tied up like a little wuss. Like, I'm like, yo, this man is big. Like, he is at least probably a foot taller than Omar Epps. Like, I feel like he should have been able to take him on better than this. I feel like, why are you making your wife go to the police car and call for help? That should be your job. He got medication. You put her at risk. When they all fled the house, get in the car and get out of here. Why are y'all going to the police car? This man's throat is slit. Okay? He has medication for his getting hit by this truck. He is the weaker one at this moment. Okay, okay, okay. Plus, she created this situation. He was correct. When he said, you called the cops. Listen, look what you did. You're weak. You're, you're not worth this marriage and then if they had to expound it on that like he's weak like i have to fit for myself there's marriages like that this people could relate to this but it was not there like they had things and they just let it just not happen girl they could have played dog uh, i'm still mad at you for almost cheating i'm gonna let you die while i save our daughter yeah like like they would show like moments of them like having like having normal interactions and it seemed like they had a good marriage so so I was looking for like things that were wrong. I was like, what's wrong with her? Blame it on the goose. Got gotcha, you in the zone. Got gotcha you in the zone. She blamed that alcohol real quick. She was like, ah, ah. What happened was I was woo, I was gone, babe. Honestly, I didn't get the impression she was that drunk. Like to me, but she we had a few uh a cups of wine. Like they needed to show more. Like I just feel like they was leaving too much for our imagination to come up with. Like, you have to set some groundwork. They were giving... Un- oh, sorry. Go ahead, Carla. 
Oh, I also feel like they didn't draw it out long enough, like his like him chasing after her, like it was just so easy. Like they had one dinner and like <laughs> they're in the bathroom. I'm like, oh my god, like they couldn't have like a few more interactions and build up to this. Like that would have been more interesting. That's how a story <laughs> works. <laughs> Let's talk about how they were taking off all these clothes like this wasn't a public bathroom. First of all, when you having sex in public places, who got time to be taking all that stuff off? Things happen quick. You in a, a place where people can pop in at any time. We didn't see them locking the door. They were on the sink. They weren't in an actual stall, which means anybody could have walked in any time. But you managed to pull your whole pants down, your shirt all the way open. I was just like, you had time to do all of this. But y'all ain't have time to actually just sit down and get to know each other? No? Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Girl, it was so ridiculous. I feel like their careers are destroyed temporarily. I, and they're going to have to come out with something else like relatively quickly for me to not say this career is over, to be honest with you. Yo, yeah. another thing. I really wanted him to catch her in that lie at the beginning when she told him that her and her girl were having fun. I wanted her girl to call the house and be like, can you yes, tell? Yes, 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 yes. And he'd be like, y'all already left? What? Something else I had an issue with. Um, this whole thing where Omar Epps' character found this homeless man, gave his clothes to him and burned him up to make it look like a suicide. That bothered me because I'm like, don't nobody burn theyself as a suicide. Like, that is so not how suicides go, bruh. Like, come on. And the cop believe me, like, yeah, I mean, it just look like da da da. You, come on. Come Listen, on. the detective said he did. <laughs> we ain't got no more time. This is this garbage cop work that got us here now. They haven't even investigated. They haven't even investigated. Like, yeah. Um, like, oh, he wrote a suicide note. He wrote a suicide note. But this is somebody who's obviously technologically savvy, like extra savvy, people hiring him to get up dirt on people. Like, come on. And who burned they so is a suicide? That is not a suicide thing. That is not how people kill themselves. But, but did you hear how quick they tried to explain away why um they were just gonna head go ahead and say that it was him, they were like, yeah, you know, we're still waiting on the results from the lab about the dental work. Like, they were trying to explain away the questions everybody was going to ask, like, but what about his dental work, though? I was yeah. like, y'all ain't slick. Y'all ain't slick, Rick. They sure did, girl. They tried to. <laughs> this is the most homicidal thing I've ever seen. You gonna try to act like this is suicide? And you gonna tell this person, well, Pretty much, it's him. We ain't got the dinner. Don't even tell her. You don't have no confirmation. So, it was actually Ooh. perfect. With who do y'all blame? Okay, let's let's get to, who Who do we blame for this acting? Who is it? Whose fault is this? Um, honestly, I, honestly, I think it, it's partially to do with the script. It's partially to do with the director. Um, they did the direct the performance. I mean, they're supposed to interpret the script. The script and the way the dialogue is supposed to be spoken. Um, if something doesn't sound right, then they're supposed to know that. I blame the audience for thinking that Nia <laughs> <laughs> and Omar could act because as I saw this movie, I went back to the movie that Nia acted in, that stupid mom movie. And everybody thought that movie was good. And I was like, this movie is trash. Her acting is terrible. And then I went back to Omar's past, and I remember oh. him. Right, I remember him in some previous stuff. And I was like, Marcy, you thought he was trash in those too. Well, who calls you? Gonna take, you gonna take the rating first? Yeah, go ahead, Carlisha. What, out of 10? The rating is one out of 10? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna give this one like a three for effort <laughs> yeah that's, that's high uh, yeah that's high you think that's high I, yeah i'll give it a three for effort the cinematography like you said in the beginning mm -hmm. cinematography was pretty good i like the location choice yeah yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> that's pretty much all i like dang so i have a 
a regular rating, then I have a bootleg Tyler Perry rating. <laughs> That's what this movie was. Bootleg Tyler Perry. <laughs> You are so the regular rating. Skills, girl. <laughs> Go ahead, let's hear it. The regular the rating. Regular. I'm gonna have to give this. I may have to go look. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. I messed up. Sorry. No, okay. I think I'm go gonna ahead. go a little bit lower than you, Carly. I think I'm about to get it to 2.5. Because Wait, is this the Tyler Perry rating or is this the regular? No, this is, this is the regular rating. Okay. okay. So I'm giving it oh, the point five because, because it was the the acting. There's no way the acting across the board can be flat. Like I get that a few characters are flat within the whole movie. Like the script needed to be better. Or, but even if the script is trash, your actors still need to know how to put some kind of razzle dazzle on there. Mm -hmm. So you automatically have dropped down so many points just based on everybody being flat. And then of course the the loose ends that they never tied up, and the fact that they really didn't maximize on this house. Okay, so listen, if we're gonna film multiple scenes in this house, I'm gonna need you to use this whole house. Okay. Cause that house was nice mm -hmm. and really that's why i'm giving it 2.5 is mostly because of the house the house was decent that kitchen with a few minor adjustments would is going to be my kitchen so that's really the only reason i'm even giving it 2.5 now on a tyler perry scale bootleg because they, they, they can't even qualify for the real tyler perry scale on the bootleg tyler perry scale <laughs> why can't it qualify because like <laughs> yes, the wig was ridiculous, but you didn't switch wigs mid scene. So you gotta be like, <laughs> okay, okay. You got you gotta be like right, on okay. your money. And the people at the restaurant were actually eating food too. It was actually weird. eating food. Okay, okay. You don't have a uh, you don't have a star who can eat fake food and convince us that it's real. You ain't got that kind of stardom. Like you ain't got it, bruh. Um, on a Tyler Perry bootleg scale. I'll probably go ahead and give it a three because I feel like it's not as bad as Cream. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that movie, but I cannot stand that movie. Um, Cream? Yes. Cash okay. rules, everything around me. I can't it's stand it. It's a, it's a movie too. <laughs> I don't like it. Um, but it's not like, it's not as bad as Cream, but it's not better than Who Made the Potato Soup. So... Oh, I'm going to give it a three. Because who made the potato salad? That was a horrible movie, but that was a good movie. Okay. Um, my rating? Oh, man. Um, like I said, I, I thought it was filmed fairly well. Um, like you said, the house was very nice. I think they found fairly, like the locations were on point. Like even like the scenes on the beach and stuff were really nice. Um, what else? I like, like I said, the imagery of black people, well to do. Um, and I mean, I don't remember the last time I saw Nia Long in something. So, I mean, I was happy initially to see her in something. <laughs> so those are the good things. The bad heavily outweighed the good. The acting, man, like, if the acting hadn't have been flat, this easily could have been at least a 5 out of 10. You know? It That's could have been. If the acting had been decent, even though the script was super generic. Um, this would probably have to be a 1 star out of 10. Dang! One. And it's a one because of the things we all mentioned, like that fake suicide, like Omar, how did, I'm just not understanding how you can't play a crazy person. Like that is like literally the easiest role for an actor to play. Like I'm not even kidding. Like even actors that are not good when they're cast in roles like that, they are good in it. So I'm like, yo, this is ridiculous. Um, these weak black men, the husband was weak, so clueless, 
he almost lost his marriage over a motorcycle accident, which we really didn't even get no real insight into. Not motorcycle, bicycle. Wait, it was a it was a bike, like a, like a bike you use your pedal yourself. I thought it was a bike, like I two feet and I pedal. I thought it was probably a bike. So if this was just a pedal me bike. Okay, so now I'm even more mad. You are on a bike getting hit by a car, and it's ruining your marriage. Um, it's too much for me. This is a one. And then this black woman's name is Ellie. This script, whew, I can't <laughs> deal with it. Like, it has to get this one. It almost would get a zero if the house wasn't nice. Like you said, these locations and the cinematography hadn't been good. It would have got a zero. Girl, Straight up. you set me and Carlisha up. The way you were describing these good points, I was expecting a three like Carlisha. You should have said a one. <laughs> I got mad when I thought about that acting because I was going to give it a two. I really was. But then when I thought about how she was calling for help for her friend, like <laughs> monotone, I said, nah, actually, you get a one. Two. Thank you guys for joining me today. Again, if you haven't watched this movie, I recommend you probably don't watch it. But if you do, just know it's all for laughs and giggles. Okay? All right, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Peace.